Over the years, many people have asked me, why are you called the One Pot Chef? Well, today, you're going to find out. See, I have a great love for a certain style of cooking called crock pot cooking or slow cooking. Basically, it involves using a slow cooker, an electric crock pot, to make beautiful things like stews, soups, all that sort of stuff. You can even use them for roasting, even making cakes of all things. So I'm going to show you what to do with my trusty old slow cooker. I'm going to show you how to make beef and bourbon stew, a great casserole on the One Pot Chef. This is my trusty crock pot, my well-used crock pot. This slow cooker has been around for about 10 years. As you can see, it's got a bit rusty over the years, but it still works like a charm. Five litre crock pot, it will cook an awesome amount of stew, an awesome amount of soup, and heaps of other things. Today, I'm showing you the beef and bourbon stew. First things first, we're gonna take our lid off. We haven't switched it on yet. First of all, we're gonna put a small amount of plain flour just on the bottom, about maybe half a cup, just enough to sort of coat the bottom. And to that, we're going to season with salt and pepper. Don't need a lot. Okay. To that, we're going to add one kilo of a fairly cheap cut of meat. This is just casserole beef. I've just chopped into little chunks. I'm gonna pop that straight in. In we go. That's it. And just with your hands, just toss the meat around, let it get coated with that flour. So this flour will help to thicken up our sauce and our gravy for the casserole later on. So as you can see, that's starting to get nice and coated. Now to the meat, we're going to add our secret ingredient. Now, not very secret, since this isn't the bloody name of the thing, it's bourbon. I'm going to add a small amount in, not a lot, about maybe a quarter of a cup, not much. Covering the label very gently there. Now basically, we're just going to let the meat sit there for a few minutes while it sucks up that bourbon. I don't know what it is about bourbon, but it goes really well with beef. It seems to just sort of bring out a lovely flavour. And of course, since it's cooking, there's not going to be any alcohol in it, so there's no worries about if kids are going to be eating this one, so no worries about that. Now, we're also going to be adding into this a small amount of garlic, about a teaspoon of crushed, oh, maybe a little bit more, let's be daring, yum, and one onion, which I've just chopped. So I'm going to be adding a couple of sliced mushrooms. Look, I'm using fresh veggies, everyone. Be shocked, be shocked. And even more. I've got um, three decent sized carrots, which I've just chopped up as well. And some dried herbs. This is just a standard Italian herb mix, which is, I keep meaning to check this actually. Which is it? Rosemary, thyme, marjoram, savoury, uh, sage, oregano and basil. There you go, for everyone who wanted to know. And to this we're also going to stick in a litre of beef stock. I'm just using the powder which I've added water to. And to this we're also going to be adding one tin of diced tomatoes. And this may seem like tomato overload, but one tin of tomato soup. That seems like a lot of tomato for one recipe, but believe it or not, this actually does mix in very well with everything else that's been added to it. We'll just give it a bit of a stir. Ooh. A lot of stuff here. Seems very full, but things like the mushrooms and the onions and stuff, they all sort of shrink when they cook and so this will shrink down a fair bit 
That's looking very nice there. There we go. Delicious. How about this for no fuss cooking? Just put the lid on, stick it onto low, and walk away. Just let this sit there for about three to four hours, roughly. Or you can put it onto high for about two to three hours. And we'll have a delicious and beautiful stew ready to go. Well, it's been about three hours. I've just turned off the crock pot. Let's take a look at how fantastic this looks. Wow. As you can see, the mushrooms have all sort of shrunk down, as I said they would. And take a look at that. That meat is actually so tender, it's actually started to come apart and become part of the gravy. Got lovely bits of carrot and onion there. A few chunks of tomato. This is absolutely fantastic. Well, I'm going to plate this one up so you can see what it looks like with some lovely boiled potatoes. Lovely. And there we have our completed meal. This is our beef and bourbon stew made in the crock pot with boiled potatoes. You can see those lovely soft carrots and onion, tomato and absolutely melt in your mouth meat. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Feel free to check out my other recipes and if you have any questions, comments, feel free to drop me a line at onepotchef at hotmail.com. Until next time.